Hi, today I show you just what's on my bench and I start with some kind of Powerwall project for the ESP32 and for this I bought some 18650 cell spacers from AliExpress and I could show you the link and also I bought some 18650 cells obviously to fit into the spacer and you take the 18650 cells and just insert them between two holes of the spacer and then you fit also the same on the top side and you do this with many many 18650 cells and just wire them up with some big bus bar in parallel so you have one big really big 18650 cells with just the nominal voltage of 3.7 volts next i also test for the esp32 this lithium 3 volt cr123 not rechargeable batteries so i test if the esp32 with all wi-fi and bluetooth functionality can be powered by this battery and i also have a battery holder for this type so i can really test this maybe and also design a small board for the esp32 and here we see also some offers in aliexpress for yes the cell holder with 10 pieces and on the next page we have also 10 pieces of the cr 123 a battery next i ordered also some double a battery holders for maybe for the lifepo battery i own or for other types of battery so i can test the esp32 with different power sources next also a bundle of electrolytic capacitors so for stabilizing the power of the esp32 and here also some usb micro connectors for soldering for a small esp32 programming adapter project i've made some pcbs but now i have to wait for the delivery and also for a future project some sd card holders for also for soldering on a PCB and for my project boxes I bought reusable silica gel to insert into the boxes to keep out the moisture of my projects and this one can be reused so if the color is changed and the moisture is absorbed you can put them into the microwave oven and hopefully they are dried again and i also ordered some strain gauge to measure maybe some weight and also i've ordered many many because they are so cheap max 3232 serial converters so i can convert the level of the esp32 serial output to an ttl level and can use the esp32 to steer a standard ttl level serial device and i have some serial printers so maybe i can use the esp32 just like an wi-fi printing adapter or something similar and here i have also some fingerprint sensor modules for the serial interface so we can connect the esp32 with a fingerprint sensor and i have to test some software maybe and also test the communication between fingerprints sensor and also some kind of power management for the fingerprint sensor so you don't have to switch on the whole time the fingerprint sensor and you have some sensing line for this next i also ordered a bunch of esp32 vruva modules but this is not very new this is what i usually do when i run out of the modules and i also want to do something more with stepper motors so i ordered some newer modules the tmc 2208 module and this is the data sheet for the tmc 2208 and the benefit is you have a very silent stepper motor driver though they call it stealth 
chop or spread cycle and they use the 256 micro steps interpolation whatever this means here is a block diagram and also you can optionally control the whole micro step driver with uart or with a configuration and clock pin or you have to also set the step direction and just clock the steps through your motors so what else have we we have an auto automatic standby for current reduction and a huge voltage range for the output where is the input range for the clock and step direction maybe we have, we have figured it out but i think we can use easily 3.3 volts from our microcontroller for the instance for the ESP32 here 3.3 or 5 volt IO voltage that's in our case the necessary thing we need to know and yes we have <laughs> how many pages 81 pages to read so it's not easy to use this chip so so and I don't know what the integrated pulse generator means maybe if we use UART control then we can use the pulse generator just for sending out and position via UART and the rest goes through the driver. I don't know. And also for another project I ordered some buzzers, pizza buzzers, to produce some tones with the ESP32. And here are some different voltage Zener diodes just to play around with some Zener diodes and clamping the voltage to a different level and just to have them in stock in my project box. And also for my ESP32 programming adapter, a voltage regulator, the AMS1117, just like on most of the ESP32 development boards. So I have them in stock. Next, this is a 2302 N channel MOSFET, general purpose MOSFET with a little bit higher current capability, but I just want to use them as an auto reset function for the ESP32 programming adapter. And the same with this, the 2N7002 N-channel MOSFET. Next in a QFN package, the CP2104 USB to serial adapter. So this is also for the programming board. And here I have some optocouplers just to change the level from inside to outside and to decoupling some signals. And last but not least, I've got my PCBs manufacturers from a cheap Chinese factoring house. So this is my ESP32 Vruva module adapter. So I can now solder my ESP32 Vruva modules to this adapter. And also I can insert this into a standard breadboard. And I have also both side of the standard breadboard just to connect some wires. So this is a little bit better than the solution for the Vroom ESP32 Vroom module where you insert this into a breadboard and just have one side to fit your wires in. So thanks for watching today. I hope you find this useful and hopefully learn something today. Write some comments, stay tuned and just watch my next video or subscribe to my channel. I wish you a nice day. Bye bye.